Ms. Hurd stood approximately three feet away from you. I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind on Ms. Hurd's face. Do you see that? Correct. Okay. But you weren't looking for bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries on Ms. Hurd's face that night, were you? I was not looking for any marks or bruises or anything. Uh, but something like that, it will be really noticeable. But I guess, you know, I was not looking. I was more focusing on what my job duties was, like getting the key. And also, this, I gave them the key, and they were talking about, I told her, you know what, your dog, I was talking with Raquel because her dog got out of her unit. And that was one of, one of my concerns. I would tell her, you know what, I saw your dog was outside. He didn't want me to get, get too close to it. So it's still out there. You know, on the penthouse area, the dog will be fine because it's not, like I said, it's always really quiet. And Mr. Depp owned everything up there, so it will be fine. So that was one of my concerns. That was my job. I was just taking care of that. I was not trying to say, oh, let me see your face. No. So, and that's where I'm going to follow up. Do you remember what Ms. Hurd was wearing that night? No. Do you remember whether she was dressed up? No. Do you remember where she was coming from that she was coming home at 10.30 at night with Ms. Penny? No, I don't remember. They didn't mention to me. She was actually, she was on the phone. She was with Raquel in front of me. We were talking about it, and then she left to the lobby where she was still on the phone. So I, you was focusing, I was focusing more on Raquel because she, they want, I was telling about her dog. Okay. Do you remember what hairstyle Ms. Heard had that night? No. Do you know what type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing that night? No. Can you tell me whether she was wearing concealer or foundation? No. Could you tell me whether she was wearing blush? No. Could you tell me whether she was wearing any type of, any kind of eye makeup? No. So who wrote the sentence, I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind in this bird's face? I'm pretty sure if I would have said something like that, I would have said something. Mr. Romero, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face. I don't just don't recall. I don't saw anything. She was just standing in front of me. I'm asking specifically, I did not notice any bruises, cuts, swelling, red marks, or any other injuries of any kind to Ms. Bird's face. Who wrote that's that? What, that's what I said. I didn't saw any marks or bruises on her face. That's what I said. But because they asked, they asked me, they asked me if I remember seeing anything and so I just don't recall seeing any marks of bruises because she was just sitting in front of me. I just don't remember any, seeing anything. Just don't remember. If it, how it would have been so obvious, like someone had like a black eye, I would have like, whoa, you know, I would have seen that and I would have remembered because it's something that you will you will see. You're like so noticeable, like you will all like you will remember. But when I was there talking to her, she was like three feet away from me. She was right in front of me. I just don't remember seeing any marks, bruises, or anything. But you don't know whether she was wearing makeup to cover it, do you? No, I don't know. I, I, she was wearing any makeup there to cover it, probably. You know, the, the probably would you would probably would cover any bruise, but you cannot cover the swollen. Were you looking for swelling? No, I can say I was not looking for anything. In fact, you were spending more time talking to Rocky about her dog, were you not? That's, that's correct, but I got I got a habit of uh, when I'm talking to someone, I look into their eyes. And when I was talking to uh, Amber and Rocky, I always look into their eyes. Okay. And I will probably wouldn't notice like any swelling or bruise, like I said, I would probably would notice. Is it fair to say, Mr. Romero, 
that you can't say that Amber Heard had injuries or did not have injuries that day on the 25th? I don't remember. Okay. Like I, said, I would have probably remember the swollen, but I didn't saw anything. I don't re just don't remember. And you don't remember seeing anything, right? But do you remember even looking? I remember. Okay. I remember. I re okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I remember. I got to tell the whole story, how they got there. Before they got, they went and get the keys. They come down. They say, somebody tried to get into my unit. They scratches on my door and say, and like, oh, um, I'm really sorry, but who will think it's going to get into your unit because they saw some scratches on the door, like, what, four inches above the door? Because the dog was crashing the door, was trying to get in, and they thought about someone trying to break into the their, their unit. I said, oh, in my head, I was like, you really, you think someone's trying to get into your unit? The scratches like four inches above your the floor and your door. That was the dog trying to get into the unit. And they were so afraid. Oh, someone's trying to get into my unit. They're like, oh, come on, really? And I actually went. They asked me to go inside the unit just to check room by room to make sure that no one was there. So I did that as part of my job, make sure they're safe. But I like really, I didn't understand why they want me to do that. Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I just so stressed out because of this. I just don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm tired. I don't want to deal with this court case. I, everybody got problems, and I don't want to deal with this no more. I don't want. I don't want to put this with any more words. The interaction you just testified about with Amber Heard and Rocky Pennington, and talking about the dog and going up and checking out the penthouse. None of that was on video footage, correct? That's correct. We don't have cameras in the video. I'm um, sorry, we don't have cameras in the hallway. We okay. don't have cameras on the hallway. I'm going to show you uh, what has been marked as Romero De Exhibit Number One. It's a deposition that you was taken of you on July 19, 2016. Now that's approximately two months after the May 21, 2016 incident. Um, and I, do you recall giving that deposition? 16, probably I did, I just don't remember. Okay. I'm going to take you to page 35. This is the same incident that you're talking about now, okay? And it's talking about, okay, you spoke with Amber at the front desk, later saw her in the lobby, later went upstairs with her. It says, the question at line six, I just want to go back for a second here. You said several times in answer to my questions that you didn't recall seeing any marks on Amber's face. When you say you didn't recall seeing any of those marks, any marks, did you mean that you didn't see any marks on her face? And your answer then was, I say that because when I saw Amber, I was not looking to see anything on her face. I was not looking to see anything. Do you recall giving that testimony on the under oath back at that time, two months after the incident? Yes, I, do, I remember. Because like I said, I, was, I always make eye contact with someone I'm talking to. But I'm not looking to find something like, like, oh, your makeup is wrong. Uh, you, you haven't uh, have changed your eyebrows or your uh, eyelashes are not even. Or I'm not looking for anything. I'm just looking at their eyes, and I'm looking. I'm not looking for anything else. But if I see something, I will probably will remember. 
if you saw something, right? Yeah, I, I would have probably would see, like, if she had a swollen, like, if she was wearing makeup, probably would have been seeing the swollen. I probably would remember that. But I was not looking for anything. I was like, oh, you know. How, how swollen was Amber on the 25th of May? How swollen was her cheek? Well, that According to the pictures you, you, I've been seeing right now that you're showing me, it was pretty swollen. I will, probably will remember that. How many days later did you see her from that swelling? That was on a Wednesday. That was from Saturday to Wednesday. Right. How many right. days would it be fair to say that you cannot have to verify one way or the other whether Amber Heard was domestically abused by Johnny Depp on May 21, 2016. I can I cannot say that. I would not, would not agree to testify against anyone of domestic violence because I was not there. I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything. I was not there. I was never there. I was probably hundreds of miles away and got no idea what happened that day. And do you remember that there was pictures of wine, a glass of wine and bottle of wine, wine stains on the floor outside of the, uh, in the hallway of the penthouse from May 21st, 2016. I remember talking to Mark, I'm not gonna tell you it was wine. All right, well, it, you're I, I'm not an expert. Ladies and gentlemen, the next portion of this deposition contains questions asked by counsel for Mr. Depp. You sit here today, when you saw her at the front desk on March 25th, you didn't see any bruising, correct? Correct. And you didn't see that uh, correct? That's correct, I didn't see any marks or bruises. You didn't see any swelling either, did you, Mr. Romero? That's correct. No swallowing and she at was all. Only, and she was only three or four feet away from you, correct? Correct. And you were looking right into her face squarely, correct? Correct. And the lighting was good at the front desk, correct? Objection. Correct. It was so good that had she had any bruises, swelling, or marks on her face, you would have noticed that, correct? That's correct. And then later that later that same day, and you testified to this already today, later that same day, you went up the elevator with Ms. Hurd and Ms. Pennington uh, in connection with their request for you to check the penthouse, correct? That's correct. And during that entire uh, period of time, taking them up to the penthouse, walking through the penthouse, and then finally you leaving and going back to your desk, uh, you did not, you look you look at Miss Heard during that time period, correct? That's correct. And you looked her in the face, squarely in the face, correct? Correct. And you didn't notice any swelling, correct? Correct. I'm sorry? Correct. I didn't saw anything. Did did you see did you see any swelling? Objection. No. Did you see any bruises? No. Nope. See any mark on the face of any kind? No marks at all. And again, just to repeat, when you were previously, when you were front of the looking at the face, did you see any uh, swelling on her face? No. Nope. See any bruises on her? No. Nope. Did you see any marks of any kind on her face? No marks at all. And how was the light down when you were at the reception and you were looking at her and didn't see any of this? How was the lighting? The lighting is actually pretty pretty good. It's not it's not dark apart? at all. She was how three far feet away? apart. Approximately three? Like three, three, to, three to four feet apart. Were you looking her square in the face? Correct. Okay. And when you were up in the penthouse and you uh, were looking her square in the face, how far apart were you from her then? We yeah. actually were, yeah. were pretty close to each other. Uh, she was probably next, just next to me. She, she was telling me like, go into this uh, this um, this room. 
so I need to pass right in front of her. And do you recall seeing any bruises, swelling, redness, or any marks on Ms. Hurd's face on May 24, 2016? I don't see anything. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, the remainder of this deposition of this witness uh, contains questions by counsel for Ms. Hurd. I'm going to talk a little bit about the video clips that Mr. Depp's attorney showed you. Um, I'm going to ask you, first of all, Mr. Mr. Presidio showed you a number of video clips from May 24th. Do you recall that? May 24th? Yes. Yep. Now it's Tuesday. But in fact, you don't recall seeing Amber Heard on May 24th, correct? I don't remember. I don't even remember what I got for breakfast. Okay. Well, let's pull up exhibit number one. Let's stay on page 17. That's a good place. Um, okay. And this is your deposition from July 19, 2016. Do you recall that? 19? Yeah. Okay. And that's... That was the in the morning. Okay. And it said here, uh, did you work... So Saturday was the 21st. Did you work that day? No. Did you work Sunday, May 22nd? No. Did you work May 23rd? Yes. On May 23rd, while you were working, did you see Amber at any time? I don't recall seeing her. Question, did you work on Tuesday, May 24th? Yes, I did. And and on Tuesday, May 24th, at any time, did you see Amber? I don't recall seeing her. Do you remember that being your testimony two months after the events? Yeah. Okay. I just don't recall. I just don't remember. Okay. Um, and then I, while we're here, now, Mr. Uh, Presidio had you go through a number of video clips and ask you a bunch of questions about whether you saw swelling, whether you saw red marks, whether you saw all kinds of other things. Um, but in fact, um, I'm going to ask you and tell me if you need me to bring up the videos and replay them. Can you tell me what type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing in any of those videos? No, I can't. I can't tell you. Can you I didn't even me? know she was wearing any lipstick. Can you tell me? Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing concealer in any of those videos? Uh, no. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any foundation in any of those videos? No, I can can't tell you. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any blush in any of those videos? No. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any powder on, in any of those videos? No, no, but she looks really pale. Well, do you know what shade of concealer or foundation or powder Ms. Heard uses or used at that time? Uh, no. Okay. Um, so you don't know whether Ms. Heard was wearing makeup in every one of those video clips, correct? Correct. Right. I'm going to try to move along. So the incident was May 21st, 2016. You saw her the night of May 25th, correct? Correct. You said ah. you saw Amber Heard hundreds of sure. times while she was there. Did Amber Heard treat you well and was she friendly to you in each of these hundreds of times? Yes, yes. I, I'm not going to say no because she was really always nice. All right, this I might not be nice. All right, this is my last question. You testified in response to Mr. Presidio's questions um, that you testified truthfully in all of these occasions. Did you testify truthfully, truthfully to everything that you testified in response to my questions today? That's correct. Uh, all right. I, I did. 